internet. Um, I'm about to start a series of videos about Orbiter and what you can do and how to do things and various other things and how to operate the awesome various displays of Orbiter, etc, etc, etc. And this is just an introductory video to it because I am having issues with my recording software and so various things have gone wrong. I have tried to make this video 80 billion times. Every time something has failed in it or something went wrong or something to that effect. And so I'm just running the demo video because I'm sick of getting into orbit and then finding out that the video has failed. So my first video will be this and the others might follow if this actually works. Um, so yeah, a little bit about Orbiter. Orbiter is a freeware software you can find online and there will be a um, a link at the very end or a URL at the very end I guess and probably in the comments of this or the description of this video. Um, it has full 3D rendering and all and everything and oftentimes there's multiple cockpit views and the base thing that you can download isn't even nearly anything that you can get for Orbiter. It is open to third-party add-ons and there is a great site to go to. It's called Orbit Hangar, but again there will be a link in the video for it. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, there are real it's a physics simulator, if you couldn't tell. They d apparently don't like it being called a game. And there's real ships, like the Space Shuttle Atlantis here that you can use to get into space. And there's fake ones, like the Delta Glider that you saw at the very, very beginning. And the Shuttle A, like you saw on the moon previously. You may have missed that, or not really seen it. Um, and... There's a whole a wide trajectory, or wide variety, not trajectory, a wide variety of things you can do in Orbiter, and it's lots and lots and lots of fun, and I really, really recommend that you get this simulator. It's high quality, and if you don't, if you can't tell from my recording of it, because my re software isn't the greatest at all, if you can't tell, it is very, very smooth and very high quality, good textures, good color detail, everything's good. And it's if you see any problems with the recording, it is most likely the recording software that is going wrong. Um, so yeah, totally recommend it. And by the way, they have all, or most of the Jupiter's and Saturn's moons. I haven't been to Uranus yet, so I'm not sure if they have all the moons there. Um, but there's a lot more than they can show you in this short five-minute video. And so many, so many good add-ons. Add-ons I would recommend, and I'll guess get into this more in the next video. Um, anything done by Dan Steff is excellent. Um, Vin Vinica's, um, ah, I can't talk right now. Vinica's Spacecraft 3 is pretty good. I'm not sure exactly what it does, but a lot of add-ons use it. And the Raven Star and Vanguard add-ons are definitely, definitely worth it, and I will be showing more of that later. Um... So yeah, I guess I'll just wait for this to finish playing. See you guys later.